Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I trust everyone is doing well. Today we are going to be making native jello fries. Yes, keep watching. Let me show you how I made it. So I started by boiling my meat. I made this of goat meat. I think goat meat is just the best for native rice or anything native. And then I seasoned the goat meat with some onions, cameroon pepper, thyme, and curry. After that, I gave it a quick mix for everything to come together. And then I allowed it to cook for about two minutes before going in with some water. So these are my remaining ingredients. I have my tatashi shombo and scotch bonnet pepper. And this is my deboned and la fish. This is my onions, my no cube, my bomo, my shrimps. Um, this is my scent leaf and my crayfish. Now let's proceed to making the rice. I heated some palm oil and then I added my onions. I gave it a quick stir before adding my blended pepper. I also gave it a quick stir. You have to do this in order to avoid your sauce from getting burnt. So I allowed that to cook fry for two minutes. This was after two minutes. I introduced my shrimps. I gave it a stir and then I added my pomo. I also gave it a stir. Guys, this stirring is very important. Otherwise, your sauce is going to get burnt. And I'm sure you wouldn't want that. After the pomo, I added my goat meat at this point. And then I did the usual thing. Then I added my panla fish. I want to use this medium to um, thank my amazing 140 subscribers. Wow, you guys, I'm so happy and I really appreciate you guys' support. If you have watched this length, please give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button thank you so at this point i introduced my crayfish and then i stir everything together for all of that to combine together i allowed that to cook fry for about three minutes and then i went in with my goat meat stock the meat, the, sorry, the stock from the goat meat. I gave it a gentle stir and then I covered the pot and allowed it to cook fry for another five minutes. This was exactly after 5 minutes. I tested the sauce and then I adjusted the seasoning. I added one extra nut cube and some salt. So at this point, I introduced my parboiled rice. So I combined the rice with the sauce and then I added some water, covered the pot and allowed it to cook for about 4 minutes on a low heat. So this was exactly after four minutes. I introduced my scent leaf. Guys, native jollof rice is not complete without this scent leaf. Do not miss it. I 
I covered the pot and allowed it to simmer for two minutes. After two minutes, guys, the rice was ready. This rice was so yummy and delicious, guys. Thank you guys for watching and please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.